Hi everyone, today's headlines. Meeting of Steering Committee for National Adaptation Fund for Climate Change held. Voka receives ambulance from Anusha Project Limited. Nagaland received Rs 1,898.75 crore as total revenue deficit grant for financial year 2021-22. US urges its national to leave Afghanistan immediately. Afghanistan security situation a concern, says India. Government urges to get in coaching institute registered in state. News in details. Meeting of Steering Committee for National Adaptation Fund for Climate Change held. The third state level steering committee meeting on National Adaptation Fund for Climate Change was held under the chairmanship of Chief Secretary Nagalan J. Alam IAS on Thursday, August 12, 2021, at the Secretariat Conference Hall, Koima. A brief representation on implementation of NAFCC project in Nagaland was made by Joint Director SARS Temsunla, who stated that the project titled Gen Pool Conservation of Indigenous Rice Varieties under Traditional Integrated Rotational Farming System for Promoting Livelihood and Food Security as Climate Change Adaptation Strategy in Nagaland was launched in April 2019 with the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change Government of India as the funding agency. She further highlighted that the project was implemented in five districts of Nagaland covering 22 villages and benefiting around 1,000 families. Voka receives ambulance from Anisha Project Limited. Anisha Project Limited donated an ambulance to Chief Medical Officer Voka on August 12, 2021 and handed over the ambulance at Deputy Commissioner Office Complex. During the short program, General Manager APL Mr. Reddy said, The company's intention in providing the ambulance to the district is to help the people of district who are in need of the ambulance service and also added that, through the small gesture, it will benefit the people of the district. Nagaland received Rs 1,898.75 crore as total revenue deficit grant for financial year 2021-22. The Department of Expenditure Ministry of Finance, Government of India released the fifth monthly installment of post-devolution revenue deficit grant of Rs 9,871 crore to 17 states on August 9, 2021, with the release of fifth installment, an amount of Rs 49,355 crore has been released to the eligible state as post-devolution revenue deficit grant as recommended by the 15th Finance Commission on monthly proportionate basis in the current financial year, informed the Finance Ministry. Nagaland received Rs 379.75 as the fifth monthly installment of post-devolution revenue deficit grant for the year 2021-22 on August 9, 2021. The state received a total of Rs 1,898.75 crore as PDRD grant in the current financial year 2021-22 in five installments, stated the Finance Ministry data. Leave Afghanistan ASAP. U.S. urges its national to exit war-torn country immediately. Issues helpline numbers. The United States of America on Thursday urged all its national to vacate Afghanistan with immediate effect using the first available commercial flight as per a notice issued on the website U.S. Embassy in Kabul. Taliban terrorists today took control over the police headquarters in Herat, the country's third largest city, and also seized another key district capital of Ghazni, just 150 kilometers from the national capital Kabul. The U.S. Embassy urges U.S. citizens to leave Afghanistan immediately, using available commercial flight option. If you cannot afford to purchase an airline ticket at this time, please contact the U.S. Embassy at Kabul for information regarding a repatriation loan. If you are a U.S. citizen and delaying your departure while you await an immigrant visa for a spouse or minor child, Please contact us immediately, given the security condition and reduced staffing. The embassy's ability to assess U.S. citizens in Afghanistan is extremely limited, even within Kabul. Notice on their website said, Afghanistan security situation a concern, says India after urging its national to leave war-torn country. A day after issuing an advisory to all its nationals residing in Afghanistan to leave the country, India on Thursday said it is concerned about the deteriorating security situation in the war-torn region. It also asserted that it is closely monitoring development and supporting all peace initiatives of Afghanistan. 
while speaking to media ministry of external affairs spokesperson arindam bakchi said afghanistan security situation is a rapidly evolving situation and that the primary concern is peace and stability in that country government urged to get coaching institute registered in state all nagaland college students union has urged the state government to get all coaching institute registered and also monitor their activities in a memorandum to chief secretary j alam union president Vitso and General Secretary Imna Meran N. Jamir stated that they acknowledged the fact that establishment of various coaching institutes in Nagaland had contributed to academic growth and helped many aspirants for competitive exams, technical exams and elite courses. They also acknowledged that many of these institutes were offering yeoman service to the student community and aspirant. Mentioning that this institute was no less than any other educational institute and commenting their activities. ANCSU stressed this institute should also be brought under certain educational regulation or authority of the state. While some of these institutes were funded, some self-established and some on partnership with other premium institutes. The union observed that these were yet to be brought under any competent authority, regulation or education department of the state. Hence, it proposed the state government to ensure that such institutes were registered and monitored so that they function properly. That's all for now. To get this latest news, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.